This is Rwanda's first locally made laptop, locally assembled by Rwandans. What started out as a partnership between the government and South American firm Positivo BGH to perfect the one laptop per child policy has grown to something even more ambitious. The firm is now also producing laptops for students at the university level and is soon to introduce more advanced processes targeting professionals. It's, uh, to be here in Rwanda uh, is uh, to build the right knowledge base that is necessary to support Rwanda industrialization grow. Uh, second, uh, we are building the right credentials through the uh, technology transfer that further will support Positivo BGH grow uh, and uh, support uh, grow of the other similar industries. Uh, and on the end, uh, uh, we are very proud uh, that in a collaboration with the University of Rwanda, our facility will be open for any kind of uh, research and uh, uh, thesis that are required to be done by the students. Trays are prepared with all the components of one kit needed to produce one laptop and install all software. Once assembled, the machines then undergo a series of thorough tests. So far, the plant produces around 800 laptops per day, but is looking to expand. We have two lines. Our capability of the, this product, this uh, plant, is uh, two lines of 20 employees in each line, so we can produce 1,600 uh, per day. The company has also collaborated with the University of Rwanda, opening up their facility for any kind of research and thesis required to be done by ICT students. Okay, and aside from ICT, what else uh, is Positivo working on? Uh, looking forward, uh, Positivo BGH in Rwanda, uh, a part of the educational and IT, ICT devices, is ready uh, to support also IoT market, Internet of Things. And in that uh, uh, matter, uh, we are ready from next year to deliver uh, uh, such a device, it's an electronic billing machine, that supports the real-time uh, tax collection. And very interesting, for example, for this uh, particular machine, uh, half of the development or even 60% of the development has been done by the local Rwandese company, Pivot Access. Uh, Pivot Access is fully delivering the software application and performing the hardware software verification. The computers have been a big success in the country and the lower end processes are now being delivered to schools in South America. Plan now is to start producing parts locally in order to cut on importation costs and pass on the benefits in lower costs to the Rwandan users. Maria Galang, CGTN, Kigali, Rwanda.